A warm welcome to all of you. Today we are discussing the endocrine system, part one. What is the need for the regulation of body activities? Do you know that? Yes, you know that our body are highly complex and they need to be so regulated that every activity takes place at proper time and in a correct sequence. Yes, all the activities should be at proper time and in a correct sequence. Then who will regulate? Who will regulate the body activities? The regulation should be there. Then only these activities are at proper time and correct sequence. Who will regulate these body, body activities? We know that nervous system control all the body activities. Right? You learn that. Nervous system control all the body activities as well as chemical regulators. Chemical regulators also helps to control the body activities. Yes, in this chapter we are learning about chemical regulators. These chemical regulators we call it as hormones. We are learning hormones. Yes, what are hormones? From where it will produce? Yes. That we are learning. What is the differences between hormonal control and nervous control? Yes, you know that all the activities are controlled by nervous system as well as chemical regulators called hormones. Yes, how it will differentiate from one another? Hormonal control, nervous control. First point. Yes, hormonal control usually slow, but nervous control that is immediate or rapid. You can yes, see that a reflex action, you know, you learn that. Reflex action that is very fast, immediate or rapid action. Second point, transmitted. In hormonal control, hormones transmitted chemically through blood. Here you can see, hormones transmitted chemically through blood blood this is blood vessel that will transmit it chemically through blood but in the case of nervous control impulses transmitted electrochemically through nerve fibers and chemically across the synapse the next point under hormonal control effect is short term or long lasting the effect of hormones is short term or long lasting sometimes it is long lasting it depends but in the case of nervous control effects effect only shortly effect only short-lived short-lived effect reflex action sudden immediate action right it is short-lived the next point affects different organs affects different organs but Nervous control affects only the particular muscle or gland. The next point, hormones can affect growth, but nervous system cannot affect growth. Under nervous control, nervous system cannot affect growth, but hormones can affect growth. The next point is yes, hormones can bring about specific chemical changes and regulate metabolism very important it can bring about specific chemical changes and regulate metabolism but in the case of nervous control nervous system does not influence chemical changes very important yes nervous system does not influence chemical changes and cannot regulate metabolism the next point under hormonal control cannot be modified by learning from previous experience. Hormones cannot be modified by learning from previous experience. But under nervous control, this nervous system can be modified to some extent by learning from previous experience. Yes, in the case of Pavlov's experiments, acquired reflex, we learned that. This all Yes, we explained there very clearly. Those who didn't watch, please go through that and be thorough with it.
nervous system yes these are the differences between hormonal control and nervous control dear children do you know in our body from where hormones or chemical regulators are produced from where it will produce the hormones are produced from several glands or glandular cells present in our body these glands or glandular cells we call it as endocrine glands endocrine glands secrete certain chemicals called hormones here you can see these glands or glandular cells produce certain chemicals that is called hormones these glands we call it as endocrine glands here you can see in this picture pituitary gland thyroid gland pancreas adrenal gland thymus pineal gland these are different types of endocrine glands all endocrine glands act in a coordinate manner they activate each other and work as a system of organs called endocrine system is these all glands activate each other and work as a system of organs called endocrine system what is the main function of this endocrine system chemical coordination of the body that is the main function of endocrine system chemical coordination very important what are hormones hormones are chemical regulators right how to define hormone hormone is a secretion from endocrine glands or a cell of the body which is poured directly into the blood and which acts on the targeted organ or cell of the same individual targeted organs or cells of the same individual bringing about the coordination between distant part of the body that is the definition of hormone this is very important definition for examination hormones are produced from endocrine glands you know that these endocrine glands are also known as ductless glands why endocrine glands are called a ductless glands because the secretions are directly poured into the blood hormones directly poured into the blood that's why that is called ductless glands there is no duct yes that is directly poured into the blood and not through any special ducts that's why that is called endocrine glands are called ductless glands let us discuss the general properties of hormones hormone secreted from endocrine glands directly poured into the blood here you can see yes they regulate physiological process by chemical means they act on target organs here you can see organs or cell usually away from their source right hormones produced in one species usually show similar influence in another species the next point they are produced in very small quantities and are biologically active example adrenaline adrenaline is active even in a concentration of 1 part in 30 crores parts yes adrenaline is a hormone as yes, when we are getting angry your face become red no that is due to the activity of adrenaline we we will learn more about this in coming slides okay then the next point chemically some hormones are peptides example insulin or others are amines amines example adrenaline adrenaline is an amine then these peptides and amines are water soluble or some are steroids example testosterone 
ഈ സ്റ്റീറോയിഡ്സ് ആർ ലിക്വിഡ് സെല്യൂബൾ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ദർ എക്സസ് സെക്രീഷൻ ഓർ ഡെഫിഷ്യൻസി കോസസ് സീരിയസ് കോൺസിക്വൻസസ് ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ സി ഇസ് ജൈജാൻഡിസം is due to the excess secretion of hormone the next point hormones are not stored in the body and are excreted from the system that will not stored in the body endocrine glands there are different types of endocrine glands you can see in our body is yes, they are adrenal glands then pancreas thyroid gland pituitary gland here you can see pituitary gland then thymus parathyroid gland here you can see parathyroid glands then gonads these are different types of endocrine glands but in your syllabus four types of endocrine glands you have to study they are adrenal glands pancreas thyroid gland pituitary gland that's all first we can learn adrenal glands where is the location of adrenal glands here you can see adrenal glands are located above the kidney adrenal glands are like caps and are located above the kidney each adrenal gland consists of two parts yes a central medulla region adrenal medulla and peripheral cortex the peripheral region we call it as adrenal cortex the central region we call it as adrenal medulla adrenal medulla is the inner region of adrenal gland this adrenal medulla produces a hormone called adrenaline the other names of adrenaline are epinephrine and noradrenaline it prepares the body to meet any emergency situation for a fight that is to face danger or flight to run away from it then extra energy and strength is provided to the body in that situation right is yes, extra energy if you are getting angry is yes, what you will do then that is actually due to the production of adrenaline the gland itself stimulated by the nerve endings of the autonomous nervous system we learned that right is yes, when we excited or angry our adrenal glands produces lot of adrenaline functions of adrenaline this adrenaline also known as emergency hormone what are the functions of adrenaline it increases heart beat accompanied by an increase in blood pressure it increases the blood supply to the muscles more glucose is released into the body by the liver these are the main functions of adrenaline very important this adrenaline also known as emergency hormone the next part of adrenal gland that is adrenal cortex where is it present adrenal cortex is the outer region outer region of the adrenal gland or peripheral region of the adrenal gland this adrenal cortex produces different types of hormones is yes, the best known hormone that is cortisol cortisol suppresses inflammation the cortical hormones are categorized into two they are mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids regulates mineral metabolism the name itself we can find out the function it regulates mineral metabolism especially sodium and potassium ions glucocorticoids regulate carbohydrate protein and fat metabolism general functions of cortical hormones 
first one increase blood glucose concentration influence fat and protein metabolism regulate salt and water balance in the body adapt the body to stresses such as extreme heat or cold burns infections etc certain cortical hormones behave like sex hormones an overgrowth of the cortex an overgrowth of the adrenal cortex in young children leads to premature sexual maturity hyposecretion from the adrenal cortex due to the hyposecretion from the adrenal cortex leads to addison's disease then what is the reason for addison's disease it's due to the hyposecretion of cortical hormones from the adrenal cortex what are the symptoms of addison's disease loss of energy skin pigmentation loss of weight nausea hypoglycemia what is hypoglycemia low blood sugar low blood sugar that is hypoglycemia sensitivity to cold and pain increased susceptibility to infections these are the symptoms of addison's disease this addison's disease is very important it is due to the hyposecretion from the adrenal cortex hypersecretion from the adrenal cortex leads to cushing syndrome what is the reason for cushing syndrome it is due to the hypersecretion of cortical hormones from the adrenal cortex is yes, very important from the adrenal cortex is yes, what are the symptoms of cushing syndrome obesity hyperglycemia what is hyperglycemia just opposite to hypoglycemia hyperglycemia means more or higher blood sugar level higher blood sugar that is hyper hyperglycemia osteoporosis weakness salt and water retention these are the different symptoms of cushing syndrome is yes, these uh, are very important cushing syndrome and addison's disease difference you have to remember in the case of addison's disease that is due to the hyposecretion from the adrenal cortex but in the case of cushing syndrome that is hypersecretion from the adrenal cortex women with beard and men with breasts if there is an overgrowth of adrenal cortex in a mature woman she develops certain male characteristics that is is yes, what are the male characteristics such as the beard mustaches and deep male voice then that condition is known as adrenal virilism this adrenal virilism we can see in female virilism means maleness then adrenal virilism we can see in female what is the reason for adrenal virilism it is due to the overgrowth of adrenal cortex overgrowth of adrenal cortex it leads to is deep male voice or mustaches or beard that condition is called adrenal virilism this you can see in females then overgrowth of adrenal cortex in males leads to enlargement of breasts revision exam based questions and answers name the following the endocrine gland located above the kidney which endocrine gland is that adrenal gland the disease caused due to hyposecretion of adrenal cortex 
Addison's disease. The hormone regulate mineral metabolism. The hormone regulate mineral metabolism. Mineralocorticoids. The hormone secreted by adrenal medulla. Adrenaline. The hormone secreted by adrenal cortex. A switch hormone secreted by adrenal cortex. Cortisone. Generally, you can write cortisone. The hormone regulate carbohydrate, fat and protein metabolism. Glucocorticoids. The disease caused due to the hypersecretion of adrenal cortex. Cushing syndrome. Answer the following. First one. Write two functions of corticoids. What are the two functions of cortical hormones? Yes. First one. Increase blood glucose concentration. Then you can write regulate salt and water balance in the body. Very important. You have to remember regulate. You have to write the term regulate salt and water balance in the body. The next question. Write two symptoms of Addison's disease. What are the two symptoms of Addison's disease? Yes, hypoglycemia you can write. You can relate with this is Addison's disease also. No, Addison's disease means hyposecretion. Then you can write the symptom is hypoglycemia. Yes, relate like this. Then you can write loss of weight, nausea, skin pigmentation, loss of energy, etc. Any two you can write. Define the term hormone. What is the definition of hormone? Hormone is a secretion from some glandular part of the body. Or you can say it is a secretion from endocrine glands which is poured directly into the blood and which acts on the target organs or cells of the same individual bringing about coordination between distant part of the body that is the definition of hormone very important you have to learn that the next one write two functions of adrenaline what are the two functions of adrenaline it increases heartbeat accompanied by an increase in blood pressure then more glucose is released into the blood by the liver. These are the two functions. Any two you can write. Or you can write it increases blood supply to the muscles. Right. Then the next question. Write two symptoms of Cushing syndrome. What are the two symptoms of Cushing syndrome? Cushing syndrome means hyper secretion. Right. Hypersecretion from adrenal cortex, then hyper, hyperglycemia, relate like this, hyperglycemia, then osteoporosis, weakness, then you can write obesity, etc. Any two you can write. Yes, thank you children. Have a good day. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. If you like my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.